Doc's future here, aren't we? Huh? Wes, but you, you've got the DNA testing, you know, you're waiting to find out about Duke's paternation. You just sit still and wait for the results, Ambrose. Aren't I right? Oh, I'm afraid I agree with Lucinda, John. After all, you can't trust what Philip Lombard says anyway. Yeah, but he can't lie about a DNA test, and one way or the other, I'm going to get him to agree to one. Yeah, but I'm sure that you get some blood out of the man without going to Marion. How am I supposed to do that? I need his consent. Oh, he's correct, Lucinda. Philip Lombard may be a prisoner, but he still has his rights. Besides, Tom has arranged for me to meet with the guy. Okay, I'm going with you. Why? Why? Because I'm involved and I want to and I have met him. I, I published the interview. Maybe I can negotiate. This is not some sort of a trade-off. It's not a swapping match or something. I don't intend to let him off the hook until he's told me everything he knows about this, the box, the letters, about Duke, anything, so that we can clear up the whole damn mess. It's for you, Tonya Reyes. Oh, thank you. Mr. Reyes, hello. Hello, Sabrina. Have you made a decision about my portrait? I'm sorry, I really haven't had a chance to consider it. Hmm. Well, could we discuss it over dinner? Oh, that's very kind of you. But I'm not sure what my parents' plans are as of yet. Um, could I get back to you? All right, well, that would be fine. I'll make a reservation in the meantime, just in case. All right. I'll speak to you as soon as I hear from them. Wonderful. I'll be expecting your call. Goodbye. What was that all about? Mr. Ray's has offered me a very generous fee to paint his portrait. <laughs> he wants to discuss it over dinner. Call him back and tell him no. Why? Sabrina, Tony Reyes is a jerk and a user, especially when it comes to women. Oh, Franny, I... I appreciate your concern, but believe me, after what Colin put me through, I, I'm not about to go running off with the first charming man who comes along. Sabrina, I know that. But I also know Tony. Look, if he's asked you to paint his portrait, he's got some ulterior motive. Perhaps he admires my work. <sighs> of course, he admires your work. He'd be a fool not to. That's not... Look, you're just going to have to trust me on this one, all right? It's not worth the aggravation, believe me. Besides, you do have plans because Larry McDermott has invited us to hear Lila sing at the Mona Lisa. So you call Tony Arreyes back and you tell him no portrait and no dinner. You'll thank me later. What are you saying? I'm saying that I hate the pretense. Living in the same house under the same roof. I've spent five of the happiest years of my life as your wife in that house. And now everything has changed and we act as if it hadn't. That's not the truth. We're not ignoring what happened. There are... There are so many good things still between us, things to build on. Can you honestly say that you look forward to coming home at night? I mean, it takes all the strength that I can muster to make myself walk through that door, knowing full well I face another evening of keeping a lid on my feelings, being polite when what I really want to do is scream. Well, that's why we're here, to get all of that out. And once we walk back into the house, down comes the lid, and we become the happy couple. For friends, for a family. Kim, that's not the way it is. It's true. It's not healthy, and it's not honest. But it's true. And if we let this go on the way it is, what I'm afraid is, is we're going to end up destroying the very thing that we want most of all to say. It sounds to me like you want me to move out. Brought to you today by Ivory Liquid, where clean and soft go hand in hand. Your own milk. It's the perfect food for your baby. But 
But should you need a formula, none is more nutritious than Gerber baby formula. If it doesn't come from you, shouldn't it come from Gerber? I can't believe it. Don't you ever quit? I've been away a long time. And my roommate's still going strong. Renews it roommate air freshener with twice the freshening liquid so it freshens air longer than magic mushroom. Long-lasting roommate. Is that what you're saying? You want me to move out? I think maybe that's something we should consider. That's the last thing I want to do. It's the last thing I want. We can't go on this way. It's not just the pretense, it's that we are not making any progress. And living apart, we would make progress? God, I don't know. We would at least be honest. We lived apart. Things got worse. Existing in the same house is not the same as being together. No kidding. And the solution is separation. We wouldn't be able to communicate at all. Well, are we now? The only time we really communicate is when we come into this office. Well, Kim, that's the point of these sessions. To make that kind of openness easier so you can continue that at home. Oh, Matt, we've tried it. It doesn't seem possible. That's not true. I mean, there have been times when we've been alone at home. Times that were caring and tender and honest. Even though we were going through this. Those times get fewer and farther between. As far as honesty is concerned, the last time that you were really honest about Susan was the night you told me that you'd slept with her. And in all these months since then, we've not made one real step towards rebuilding the trust between you and me. And that's what frightens me so much. But every time I try, you resist any effort. But you call it trying to rebuild the trust between us when in the last couple of weeks, We've had to cut short our trip to London because of your concern for Susan, because of your feelings. Now, Susan was getting perfectly good care, excellent care. There was nothing you could do. She's getting excellent care in that facility up in Michigan right now, but there you were today calling Emily to get Susan's telephone number. She's my colleague. Oh, your colleague, your colleague, your friend, I know. How many times have you used that as an excuse? It is one thing to be a colleague and a friend, and something else to be chasing after her all the time. Bob? How many times do I have to say this? I love you. Why isn't that enough? Why can't you believe that? Because I just told you. You say you love me. And then you chase after Susan. You say you want things to be just the way they were, but that's not going to happen until you and I rebuild the trust. And that will never happen until you stop all this baloney about Susan being your colleague and break the emotional tie between the two of you once and for all. When I spoke to you earlier, I was unaware that Franny had already made plans. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Actually, I envy the way your family does things together. I just hope we can spend some time another evening at the Mona Lisa. Or perhaps I'll see you there this evening, since I'll be there with Franny to hear Lila Peretti sing. Well, that would be nice. Uh, Sabrina, before I let you go, you may hear some unpleasant things about me from some of the people here in Oakdale, including your sister Franny. I hope you'll keep an open mind. I make my own decisions about people. Good. I thought you would. That's the way you struck me. Well, thank you. All right, well, I won't press you about the portrait, but I'm serious. I really would like to add a Hughes to my collection. Well, that's very kind of you. And thank you for being so understanding about this evening. Good night. Well, I took your suggestion. And I told Mr. Ayers, I'm busy. Good. So where were we? We were talking about Seth and what happened. Yeah, right. Uh, Sabrina, I just want you to know that I, I really 
consider all that a part of the past. I'm just sorry that that's what pushed you to call in Crowley's arms. That's not all it was. I know, but... I just want us to be sisters this time around. You know? Real sisters. I want that, too. I really... I like the idea that I could be part of a family. When I arrived the first time, it was all so new. It was a bit overwhelming. Maybe we both just pushed a little too hard, huh? Perhaps. But I appreciated the way you all welcomed me. I don't know why I felt like such an outsider. You know what? I'm going to do my very best to make sure that doesn't happen this time. I mean that. So where were we? You were telling me about um, your visit to the farm and Seth. How, how did that all go? Well, I'd be lying if I said that I don't still find him terribly attractive. <laughs> He's strong and gentle and honest. So different from Colin. You guys get much of a chance to talk? Not really, no. Emma invited me to stay to lunch, but I didn't. I sensed the Snyders were dealing with problems of their own. Oh, I'm sorry. I know how close you were to Shannon. Yeah. I just, I just can't believe that she's gone. I mean, she and Duncan loved each other so much, and they had their whole lives ahead of them. It's so unfair. A lot of life isn't fair. Does Gavin know? I mean, I know what Shannon meant to him. Ellie's gonna call Sean and Zurich. I'll pass the news on. I know this isn't a good time to talk about us. But when I get back from London, whatever happens with Noel. Well, darling, I told you we'd find Daddy here. Now, don't you worry. He's not gonna let anything bad happen to us. So, you and the bear are gonna brush your teeth? Uh-huh. Uh-oh, well, watch the brush. Well, now, you don't care about the icky dirt that might be deep down in that sink, but your mom cares. She cleaned it with Comet. It's got Chlorinol Plus, a power bleach. Comet gets the soap scum on the surface, then gets the dirt deep down below the surface, too. Uh-oh, watch the cup. <laughs> That's okay. That's why there's Comet. Deep down, you know it's clean. pain in the neck? Ooh. Are your unmentionables sometimes unbearable? Mm -hmm. Maybe you have sensitive skin and your clothes are trying to tell you something. Well, dermatologist tested Sheer Free is the detergent you've been itching for. It's free of dyes, free of perfumes. So your clothes are free of the residue that can irritate sensitive skin. So next time your washing is rubbing you the wrong way, don't change your clothes. No. Change your detergent. To help relieve her heartburn, her antacid uses an aluminum salt, but his is Tums. Tums is aluminum-free. Tums has calcium. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. Tums. Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. Once again, the pitching staff led the A's to victory to give them a two-game lead. The Red Sox must rebound in Oakland. The American League pennant race continues on CBS. Angel, what are you doing here? Noelle and Edna and I just flew down. We tried to reach you at work, and Lily's mother said that you were out, so we left Nanny to get settled in at the lake and came down here to look for you. Oh, goodness gracious, she has missed your daddy so much. Come here. Give him a big kiss. Look. Hello, Lily. Hi, Angel. I'm sorry to hear about Noel. Well, Holden won't let anything happen. He would never let anybody take our daughter away from us. Well, honey, are, are you all right? You look like you've been crying. I just heard that a close friend died. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Is there anything Holden and I can do? No. Thank you. I am going to go talk to Duncan. Okay, Miss Sid. I'm sorry. I will. When are you going to London? Morning, probably. 
I have some details to sort out with Lucinda first. I wish you the best. Both of you. Thank you. I thought you said Lily wasn't speaking to you. Don't start. We got enough problems to worry about with Noel. Oh. Like thinking about her future, for instance. Well, Mom, I just hope I didn't goof, but Bob called wanting your number in Michigan, so I gave it to him. The worst thing was that Kim was standing right there, and it was really awkward. Yeah, well, I wish I could be there with you. It's just now Sean is in Zurich, and Ellie's going to New York. There's no way. Give your mom that... my best. Okay. Uh, Paul sends his best. Really? I don't think you're the person to be giving advice in that department. Mm-hmm. I love you, too. Bye. I take it that last remark was about me? Well, you know mothers. They're not happy unless they're worrying. Well, she doesn't have to worry. I would never do anything to hurt you. Paul, honey, that's not what she's worried about. She's worried about what other people will think. We can handle that, can't we? Hey, listen. This is your mother's office, okay? She wouldn't be happy walking in on something like that. Um, I think she already knows. She doesn't know everything. She knew that we were living together, Paul. She would open up a factory in Mongolia, and she would put me in charge of it. <laughs> I wish you were coming to New York with us. You're not going to have time to party. Hi, we've pulled all the outfits for New York. I uh, just got to get them down to shipping. See what I tell you. You need to hurry back. Your son's in charge, and all is right with the world. Uh, Barbara, I think Franco Visconti is coming to the fashion show in New York. I thought we were overbooked already. Yeah, well, Ellie said that Lisa can't make it. So I called the fashion's office to find out, and she wasn't there. Oh, yeah, I think she went over to the uh, Earl Mitchell Center with Duncan to break the news. What news? I'm sorry, Emily. I thought you'd heard. Shannon's been killed. The part of Lisa Mitchell is being played today by Jennifer Bassey. Thank you both very much for coming out to the capital with me. I thought you were just wonderful, the way you held up telling those kids about Shannon. Well, it had to be done. Shannon was very dedicated to the center and the work there. Must carry on. I intend to spend a great deal of time on that. Duncan, won't that be terribly painful with all the memories? The memories are what I live for. The happy times that Shannon and I shared, both here and at the castle. That's all I have. I talked to Beatrice and Brian. How did Beatrice react to the news? Oh, she was very upset, of course, and she was deeply concerned about you, and they both wanted to jump on a plane and come right over. Shannon's brothers offered to fly out, too, when I talked to them. No, 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 no. I don't want any services. The last thing I want is for the people I love to be exposed to the horror that I saw in Lilith's tent. I'll make some coffee. Duncan, I can do that. You're both welcome to stay, although it's not necessary. You know, he's just holding his grief inside. And when he lets go, it's all talk of revenge. But Lilith's dead. He's convinced Tonio is involved somehow. And since there's no proof, I'm just afraid he's going to take the law into his own hands. Would one of you mind getting that? I don't feel like talking to anybody right now. I hope it's Harriet. I left word for her to call. Uh, hello? No, uh, uh... Shannon is is not here right now. Uh, this is her aunt. And Collins? Colin, is it really you? Introducing the best news for ice cream lovers since ice cream began. New Simple Pleasures. It's everything you love about ice cream, but no fat. Because New Simple Pleasures and only Simple Pleasures is made with all natural Simplest instead of fat. That's why New Simple Pleasures is unbelievably rich, incredibly creamy, and absolutely delicious. All natural simple pleasures with Simplest. There's never been an ice cream like it. Ben Gay welcomes back all the people who tried one of those other pain relievers, but found that for them, nothing works better than Ben Gay. It warms away pain with two pain relievers, not just one. Welcome back to Ben Gay, America's best-selling pain relief rub. 
when you rinse first with Plax, normal everyday brushing takes on a whole new meaning. Plax, clinically proven to remove more Plax than brushing alone. You know what, Raleigh? My coach says if I work my fundamentals, maybe in 10 years, I can have a shot at the bigs. Guess if you're coming with me, Raleigh, you gotta work the fundamentals too. Alpro, all the meat dogs love, fortified with all the vitamins and minerals they need to eat well and be well, well into the future. Coach says I can really go places. And I'm not going anywhere without you, Raleigh. Coming to CBS. I got married in San Diego and a divorce in New York. I never heard much about your wife. She thought she heard too much about you. The reason you got divorced. Well, I guess that means I'm not the reason you never got married. Premiering Wednesday, October 24th. WIOU. Watch for it on CBS. Over My Dead Body. Premieres Friday, October 26th. Hello. Oh, hi, Andy. And uh, no, no, she said she was going to stop by the studio. I think you can reach her there. No, no, no problem. <laughs> I'm just a little tired. Uh, long day. Yeah, take care. The minute we walk back into the house, the lid clamps down. It isn't ours, and it isn't healthy. Daddy? Hi. Hi, kid. I saw you in the driveway. I guess you're home early, huh? Yeah, easy <laughs> rounds today. Wow. What have you three guys been up to? Well, we just had ourselves a little walk in the park, and Christopher and me and Sabrina made a big pile of leaves, didn't we? Yeah, really big. Yeah, yeah really big. <laughs> well, you have any plans for tonight? Um, yeah, actually, Larry has invited Sabrina and I to go here to Lila's scene, but we wanted to find out what you and Mom were doing first. Oh, well, uh, I don't know about your mother, but I'm really tired. I think I'll just do some reading and turn in early. Well, why don't you ring up Larry, and I'll get that biscuit I promised Chris. Cookie! Oh, I'm sorry, Cookie. <laughs> Come on. Guess your first session didn't go so well, huh? <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, it was pretty rough. Is there anything I can do? At this point, it's really up to Kim. I don't know what I can do to prove to her that I love her. You know, it's not easy to talk to one of my kids about this. I made a mistake, I know that. It happened once. Kim is acting as though I'm in the middle of an ongoing affair. Well, Daddy, I think... I think I can understand why Mom feels the way she does. I mean, infidelity is a pretty hard thing to get past. Other couples have. Daddy, Mom feels betrayed. Can't you see that? Well, Mama won't be mad. What? Mama won't be mad. Oh, she's afraid. Mother will think he spoiled his dinner. No. Don't worry about it. Sometimes mothers have to try to understand us guys. Would you listen to this? Barbara Ryan is clearly back in top form with designs destined to dominate the spring market. Clearly, your friend Meyerson is, thinks she's just swell. She got two reviews in the Chicago Daily. All this from a local show. What do you want me to do about it, Olivia? Lucinda, my line is going to go down the tubes unless you get me someone who can compete with Ellie for the media coverage. Olivia, even as we speak, Kirk is in New York. He is trying to get you the best PR person available. Get back to your swatches and your pins and come up with something. Brilliant. It'll make your friend Meyerson flip and forget Barbara, Ryan, and her date with Destiny. A lot of good that's going to do me if my designs are kept a secret. Sorry. Hi. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no. Uh, that's quite all right. We're all through here. A as a matter of fact, I do hope we can get together for that drink. I have so much to tell you about Simply Barbara. Sure. As soon as I get back from London. London? I thought you told me he was going to be training Take here for a couple easy, of weeks. Take it easy, darling. Take it easy. It's a quick trip on personal business. Oh. Well, I'll hold you to that promise then. I owe you one. Oh. I've taken Kirk's suggestion. 
I'm going to talk to Charlie Reinhuller about covering for me while I'm gone. He's not creative, but he's competent. I really appreciate your understanding. Me? About Noel? Darling, I am more than understanding. I'm wishing you success. Now, I don't know these Sheridan people. I, d I don't know what their financial situation is, but I know that you and Angel have more to offer than they ever could. And you and Angel, you've got to fight. You mustn't be intimidated. And while you're in London, I'd like you to do me a favor, please. Dusty's there. John would appreciate it very much if you would break the news about Shannon. Shannon's death. I will. I already told Lily. She didn't take it very well. Where did you see Lily? At the park. Oh, that's where you were when your wife calls me looking for you. Yeah. Yeah, I saw her there. She's at, she's at Lakeview now with Noel. I've got to talk to Charlie. Okay, then get back to me. Hello, Hello. Hi, Ambrose. Jane, get me Angel Snyder at the Lakeview Towers. Lucinda, why are you calling Holden's wife? Tell me something, old man. What is the matter with you today? You know perfectly well. I did not want John to go to Marion to see Philip Lombard. Why didn't you come up with something brilliant to stop him? Because it was perfectly obvious that his mind was made up. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do when Philip Lombard tells him that I had all that stuff? I've had it all this time. Lucinda, I have been telling you for Don't. weeks that you... Don't tell me I told you. Yes? Put her through. Hello, Angel. I'm glad I was able to track you down. We've never met. I'm John Dixon. I know. I assume you're here to talk about Rosemary's son. Now, when life turns up the heat... Oh, excuse me. ...there's degree antiperspirant. I'll put you next to the chair. Body heat-activated degree is different. Every time your body heat rises, Degree turns on extra protection. When life turns up the heat, Degree has you covered. So you're Ted. Degree, your body heat turns it on. Homemade bread. For the bake sale. Be great with country crock. Hey. All that rich buttery taste. Let's take country crock with us. Ah, stay here and loaf around. Oh, come taste the country. Rich and buttery, but with fewer calories and no cholesterol. Shed spread country crock, the taste of the country. At play school, we know the dark can be a really mysterious place. That's all, That's my frog. So we designed a flashlight uh -oh. strong and sturdy, especially for little kids. It's going to be great. It shines in three colors, and if they forget, it turns itself off. Relief with Alka Seltzer Plus Cold Medicine. It works. It's fast. It works fast. When you've got to get relief fast, you got to get Alka Seltzer Plus. And now, for sinus and allergy relief, try new Alka Seltzer Plus Sinus Allergy Medicine. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Ooh, sensual. Mm. Sexy. Suave. Sassy. Mm, strong. Sweet. Great, home. That's right. Heat up your mornings when your favorite CBS soap stars meet on Family Feud all this week on CBS. Hey, what about me? Ooh, simply irresistible. This is CBS. When stars work with their kids, it can pose a unique set of problems. And we have the inside story on some stunning secrets. And we'll explore the troubles that can often develop in a happy family. Only on Entertainment Tonight. Entertainment Tonight at 7, here on TV6. 
Last Friday, TV6 and XL102 teamed up to collect for the Richmond Cares Package Event. We were asking for products and items to help make life more comfortable for the troops overseas. The response was tremendous. We received truckloads of sporting equipment, cases of drink mixes, boxes of cards, and games. TV6 was proud to be part of this wonderful event, and even more proud of all the generous people who helped make it a success. Central Virginia has proven again that Richmond really cares. Deep in a remote section of Maryland's Pocomoke Forest lies a very unusual farm. For it's here that Purdue researches its breeds, developing birds like the Purdue Oven Stuffer Roaster, which was bred to have a much broader breast and more tender, juicy white meat than any other roaster. We wondered what Purdue might be working on now, but for the first time ever, we couldn't get a peep out of Frank. Challengers, weekdays at 5 on TV6. And now part two of As the World Turns. Oh, and Cynthia, I spoke uh, about your leaving with my accountant. I'm and sorry, but I'm afraid it's too late. I see. Well, in that case, I'm sorry, but I won't be able to give you a letter of recommendation. Mr. McKegg, my new employer didn't ask for one. Excuse me, I'll make that call. Of course. Duncan McKechnie. Yes, Cynthia? Fine, sent her right in. Hello, Kim. Hi, How Tanya. Are you? Uh, the studio gave me your message. Yes, I'm sorry I couldn't speak with you at the studio, but I've been tied to the phone all day. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Would you like some tea, coffee? No, no, thanks very much. What's, what's this all about? Well, uh, I'll get right to the point. The latest numbers are in on the ratings for patterns. And they're terrific. We haven't always agreed about the show, but I would have to say that the numbers have proven me wrong. And? Well, your contract is up in the spring, and I would like to renegotiate. I'd like you to know right from the start that I'm prepared to increase your salary substantially right from the start, and I may be able to get a syndication deal for the show. Well, that's very flattering, but I can hardly ignore the problems that you and I have had. Well, if you're referring to the times that Blythe Nelson substituted for you, I think we can see to it that that doesn't happen again. And of course, uh, you'll have full control of the subject matter once again. I would certainly want this on paper. Oh, I think we can let our lawyers work out the details. I just want to get a sense of whether you're still interested in patterns. Well, at this moment, more than ever. Wonderful. I think we will have a long and mutually satisfying relationship. Would you like some champagne? Uh, now, I don't drink. Uh, I'll celebrate by going home. Oh, Thank fine. you very much. Well, I'll tell my lawyer to expect a call from Jessica Griffin, then. Thank you. Thank you. Frankly, I was somewhat puzzled when I heard you wanted to see me. Your son-in-law is prosecuting me. I'm not here about the trial. I'm only concerned about Rosemary's son. Yes, I've met the boy. Yeah, and you threw him a curve. Well, I just tried to answer the questions he had. Well, from what I hear, you weren't exactly crystal clear. My lawyers tell me that anything I say might be used against me. Connie's lies have already made life pretty dangerous for me. Look, you know damn well the Duke is not your son. Give him a break, will you? He doesn't need these innuendos about who his real father is. If you're so certain about Ian, then what's the problem? He puts on this tough guy act, I know, but underneath all of that, he's a very sensitive boy. Like Rosemary. Only she always wore her heart on her sleeve. As I'm sure you remember. I think you ought to know. Duke and I have started DNA testing. It's 
my understanding that these tests are not totally conclusive. Look, I don't understand this. What have you got to gain by confusing Duke? Perhaps it's you who are confusing him. All right, well, let's find out. How about you joining with us in this DNA testing? We'll prove Duke's paternity once and for all. There was no joy in Diaperville. The team was all wet. First out was Loves, then Pampers. But hold on, fans, don't fret. Here comes Mighty Huggies with the driest diaper yet. Yes, fans, Huggies diapers for him and her have leakage control shields to help block leaks and a unique inner layer to keep skin drier than Pampers or Loves. Now the pitcher throws his fastball, and now the game is won. For Huggies has come through, and it's a home run. Huggies, happily ever after. How do you like this one? You're getting warmer. Did you know that most of your body heat escapes through your head? Really? 30% off. Nice. They always have the sale before it gets cold. You like this one? You're, you're getting warmer. You can't find something here. It doesn't exist. This is great. You might as well get it now. It's on sale. This one. Oh, that's it. You sure? Because there's still a few thousand more I could try on. There are? The Denerex size feels like someone shampooing my hair. It feels like it's doing something. Head and shoulders, I don't feel anything. Both have a dandruff ingredient, but Denerex adds an extra anti-itch medicine you can feel working. Denerex felt like it was working. It was tingling. It felt alive. Carl, have you checked the batteries in the flashlight lately? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm dead. A reminder to check your batteries with the new copper top tester. It's free and only from Duracell. How is Duncan? Oh, well, he's going through hell, I imagine. I I've got to go see him. He was always there for me with James and Brooke. I'll go Good with idea. you. Paul, I hate to be insensitive, honey, but we have a lot of packing to do for New York. It's okay, Paul. I'll go along. And when I'm done seeing Duncan, I'll come back and do some work. Oh, well, that's okay, Emily. We can do just yeah, fine. Yeah, hi, Margaret. Take care yeah, of I'm Duncan. I'm just checking in. What? When? Any idea where Crowley was calling from? Well, that's the brakes, I guess. Damn it, if only Duncan would let us put that tracer on his phone. All right, well, I'll head over there, see what I can find out. Yeah, Emily, I'm going that direction. You want to ride? Sure, thanks. Hey, you give me a call and let me know what's going on, huh? And you, you get out of here at a decent hour, or I'm coming back. You get it? I got it. Bye. And you? Keep an eye on your mother. Deal, as long as you keep an eye on Emily for me. Deal. She's got her own private car. Well, Mom, uh, maybe you want to check over everything before I send it over to shipping. Sure. Honey, I couldn't help but being struck by what Emily just said. About what? About how Duncan has always helped her through her times of trouble with James and Brock. For someone so young, she's suffered a great deal. Yeah, she has. I've always wondered why it is she's attracted to men with a sense of danger about them. Haven't you ever wondered the same thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, all the way here, I kept thinking about what to say. That's all right, Lily. You don't have to say anything. I appreciate you coming. Isn't there a, a chance that... No, I'm afraid not. Shannon died a horrible death at the hands of a psychopath, and you can be sure I'm not going to arrest till everyone responsible pays. I thought that, that Lilith was dead, though. Aye, that she is. But I happen to know that Tony O'Reyes has... Duncan, please. No more accusations without proof. I have all the bloody proof I need. It's the police that need to dot every I and cross every bloody T. And until they do that, of course, there'll be no action whatsoever. Um, you okay? I know Shannon was, uh, like a daughter to you. I, uh, I know Duncan is convinced. But I, I just, I can't help feeling that somehow she's still alive. I mean, all we have is that mad woman's word. Why 
don't you give yourself permission to cry? Tears aren't going to bring her back. It's you I'm concerned about. Well, I'm not. Well, you should be. Shannon would want you to be. How can I make amends when I broke Shannon's heart as surely as Lilith broke her body? You can go on knowing that Shannon forgave you. Gavin said the last thing she told him was that you were the only one she'd ever loved. I'll get it. McKechnie residence? Uh, uh, just one moment. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. It's Gavin. Hey, waffles. Yeah. I thought we'd try these common sense oat bran waffles. Oh, so today we're doing wholesome. Hey, wait. These are really good. I wouldn't mind eating them all day. I have nothing planned. Seriously, we should have these again sometime. How does tomorrow sound? Works for me. Kellogg's Common Sense Oat Bran Waffles from Eggo. Also in fruit and nuts. You never expected wholesome oat bran to taste so... delightfully thick, with almost half the calories of my regular syrup. Mom, this is Butterworth talking. I know, dear. Mrs. Butterworth's light syrup. You don't believe me, do you? So light, yet so delicious. And don't forget my regular syrup and pancake mix. Get ready. My family. We inherited the same unmanageable hair. Good thing we also inherited VL5 shampoo. Five special ingredients. Three to clean and two for manageability. Makes hair do what you want it to. Alberto VO5. Shake it out. Glade Carpet Potpourri. Flowers, herbs, fruits and spice. It helps eliminate tough pet and smoking odors. A fresh scent, very light. Shake out that country scent with Glade Carpet Potpourri. Shake it out. Kirk, I trust you implicitly. It was just that I would prefer a woman and with beauty as well as brains, all right? If we're going to get Kruger, we've got to use the right kind of ammunition. Okay. Don't think I'm going to be part of any scheme to steal Kruger away from Lily. Did I ask you to do that? Just, just do your me. job here right. at Walsh, all right? Make Walsh look Lucinda, good. Lucinda, I have the most wonderful idea. Since Barbara Ryan made such a big hit with her maternity clothes for career women, why don't I confront her head-on with a maternity line for the more youthful and active? Oh, I think it's wonderful. That's superb, Olivia. Get to it, and don't you have to speak to Charlie. Oh, good. Well, here, why don't you come with me? I have a lot of ideas, and I'll need a lot of your input on this. Why don't we go into my office? You're exposing Holden to Olivia's tender mercies? I had to... Get him out of the office before his wife gets here. Lucinda! What, it's a crime now? I'm not allowed to speak to Angel today? Well, I would have thought that you'd been more concerned about John. I am, darling, I am. I am! Hello, Mrs. Dixon. Hi, darling. Hi, Mrs. I'm glad you could come. Oh. I just wanted you to hear from my lips personally that I am on your side in this terrible business to stop Noel. Oh, thank you so much. And I've been giving some thought. You know I have experience in these matters, and, and I know English people through the Sheridans, so I'd just like to share some thoughts with you. Why don't we take um, a little tour of Walsh? Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> and then we'll talk about Philip Lombard, because I need your help. Come on, darling. Let's go. <sighs> I spoke to, to Gavin after Duncan did, but after hearing about Shannon, he really didn't say anything else. Well, it's Crowley's call I'm mainly interested in. Well, there's not much to say. Um, he was shattered when I told him about Shannon, and then uh, Duncan took the phone. He hung up. 
Duncan's convinced more than ever that Colin is the key to linking Tonio to Demon's death and all, all the criminal activity around here. He also feels that Lilith got to Shannon with Tonio's help. Listen, I know how Duncan feels about Tonio, but you'd be doing him a big favor if you could convince him to work with the police instead of on his own. Even Shannon couldn't do that. Tonio? Why in the world would Tonio want Shannon dead? We're mortal enemies. Tonio knows that I've sworn to expose any connection he has to Stenbeck's money. And what's more, except for the Mona Lisa, this building is the only thing that stands in the way of his glorious waterfront development. Duncan, I hate Tonio as much as you do. You know that. I just hope you're wrong. Emily, no decent person is safe as long as Tonio Reyes is free to run around pursuing his twisted ambitions. Which reminds me, what the bloody hell are you doing about finding Crowley? You know, Duncan, you'd help us out a lot if you'd finally agree to let us put a tracer on your phone. Ah, bloody hell. All right, fine. McKechnie. Blake. Why is Blake calling here? I'm afraid it's all part of uh, Duncan's vendetta. Well, that's great, but what you really have to find is any information that connects Tonio and his friend Terrell to Stenbeck's Swiss bank accounts. All right, but be very careful. I know I don't have to tell you that the stakes are very high. I never look at that picture that I don't remember the day that your mother and I found you in that church in Torcello. All our lives changed on that day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have seen Chris. He fell asleep right on top of his block. He's so cute. Well, construction business can be pretty tiring. That's why right, Daddy was doing me. <laughs> Listen, Larry called and he says that he's going to pick us up at 6 o'clock. Is that all right? Great. I should get changed. Okay, good. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Um, oh, Sabrina and I are going to hear Lila sing at the Mona Lisa. You want to come with us? Oh, bless your heart. Mm. Thanks for the invitation, but I am beat. I'm going to stay home tonight. Okay. Were you at the studio all this time? Oh, yeah, except for a meeting with Tonio. Now I can understand why you want a quiet evening at home. No, no, no. I, I couldn't have been nicer. Uh-oh. I'll have thought the same thing you were thinking, but... You're not going to believe this. He offered me a new contract, raising salary, continued artistic control, and a possible distribution deal. That's it. He's definitely up to something. <laughs> well, we should get dressed or we're not going to be ready in time, so... Okay. Yeah, that's right. Well, we'll say goodbye before we go. All right, guys. See you guys later. Well, since the girls are going to be out tonight, I suppose this is our chance to see if we can be as honest at home as we were at Matt's office. Remember when the game of Trivial Pursuit was just for Rhodes Scholars? Not anymore. Now there's the Trivial Pursuit 60s edition. Dead idiot. Uh, guys, Fire for three days in 69, what was New York's third largest city called? Woodstock, man. Fire out. Right on. I do not want to see him on my... Hey, guys, what was the 60s tribal love rock musical? <laughs> the Trivial Pursuit 60s edition. Questions anybody can answer. What TV comedian first ran for president in 68? Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> the new Trivial Pursuit 60s edition from Parker Brothers. For almond lovers, it's a match made in heaven. Hershey's kisses with almonds. The big idea. Already pie crust. Just unfold, fill, and bake for a scratch quality crust that's as easy as, as, um. Pie! Right, pie. Well, nothing says loving like my already pie crust. Woohoo! You know, when we first introduced Jimmy Dean, many burgers had no idea they would become as popular as they are. And then I remembered a friend said, Jimmy, stick with quality, you'll be all right. 100% beef, real American cheese. A nice soft bun. Jimmy Dean Mini Burgers. Find out how you can get the Jimmy Dean Toy Roundup Booklet, worth up to $100 in rebates, from Play School, Milton, Bradley, and Hasbro. Look for coupons in this Sunday's newspaper. No, that 
is the worst thing that you could do. No, listen, please. I am dealing with enough stress as it is. As I told you, it is better if we are not in contact. Yes. Uh-huh. I'd be happy to meet with you in New York about the exclusive. Certainly. See you then. Another buyer, huh? Yes, indeed. Did you think and get everything packed? Yeah, we're all set. Here you go. Oh, good. Honey, I hope you didn't misunderstand what I said about Emily earlier. Mom, I don't think we should be talking about Emily. Well, it's true, you know, Paul. It's true what I said about her history. We all make mistakes. We know that. That is true, too. I guess there's something that I should talk to you about. Mom, the reason I don't want to talk to you about Emily's past history with men is because I'm in love with her. Honey, I don't think you know the meaning of the word love. No, I do. And I'm in love with Emily. And Emily's in love with me. And I think I should also let you know that we're living together. If that doesn't work, you call me and I'll come in. Thanks. Problems? The patient had a reaction to medication, allergic reaction. The uh, Benadryl and oxygen should take care of it. I really admire the way you can focus on your work. I didn't get a thing done at the studio today. I was so busy thinking about our session. Well, I guess I'll take a bath. What were you about to say? Listening to you on the phone, it just suddenly dawned on me nothing's ever going to change. Susan will finish her therapy and come back to Oakdale, and you'll be colleagues again, working side by side. Susan is planning to take the job in California. Will 3,000 miles make a difference? Will that break the emotional tie between the two of you? What do I have to do in your book to prove that there aren't deep emotional ties like you insist on seeing? It's so simple. Why can't you see it? I guess it's a lot easier to blame me for all the problems we have. But I'm not entirely responsible. Oh, God, are you going to start in again about how I ignored you? Yes, I am. You cut me out of your life. You made me feel unimportant. I had no role in this. I have no rights as your husband. I am not going to take the blame for what happened between you and Susan. <sighs> this is pointless. No, you're not. You're going to stay here, and we're going to talk this through. Jane, I'm afraid you were wrong. Cindy isn't in here. You think you can track her down? Thanks. Lily, wait. There's something I need to say, and I don't think I'll have a chance to say it before I go back to London. I don't know what's going to happen with Noelle. If we have to give her back to her natural parents, I think I can handle it, but I'm not too sure about Angel. So that's why I feel I need to go with her and be with her. Well, of course. I don't know what's going to happen with all this, but after it's all over, I'm going to try and get Angel to agree to a divorce. Well, there's your elusive husband. Hi, honey. Hello, Pussycat. Nice Hi. to see you. At least I did what I could for Rosemary when she moved to Seattle, which is more than you did. So you can rest assured if I thought there would be any useful purpose Let's served by... Let's just cut it, all right. You're willing to let Duke twist in the wind as to who his real father is, and I don't know why I should expect any more from a man who'd kill his own son. Now, just a minute, Dr. Dixon. Wait till you get back here! It's all, it's all right, Guard. I just, I just have one more thing to say to him. Before you leave, I have a message I want you to take back to your wife. 